Wait, wait. Before you dislike this video, let me just explain to you that I hate scalpers probably just as much as you do, or probably even more. My friend and I have been trying to get a RTX 3080 graphics card for months now, but obviously we haven't had a chance to get one because scalpers. It's a big thing nowadays, and especially in 2020. While you see scalpers as people who are uncultured and dicks and stuff like that, or any other swear word you can find up in the dictionary, I like to think of them as people who take an opportunity that they see in front of them to make a quick buck. Again, like I said before, it's, it's a huge thing. A lot of people are talking about it. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, you can't get your hands on it because of scalpers. Recently in Singapore, we had this a bit of a controversy with uh, Quartz. It's a famous uh, retailer where they've been selling PlayStation 5s for over $300 of their retail value. They've been considered as resellers instead of retailers. There's been a whole a controversy going on with that. Let me just explain to you what I think about this whole thing. Now, obviously, you guys know the basic supply and demand. When a product is high in demand, there will be a little bit of supply that struggles to keep up with the amount of demand it has, especially in this pandemic where it's physically hard to manufacture a lot and actually get them shipped. And to meet that demand, it's pretty much unrealistic. It's completely unrealistic for people to expect a complete normal release of any new tech product. 2020 has been an amazing year for technology. It truly has. In terms of AMD processors, Intel's new processors, the new GPUs from NVIDIA, the 30 series, as well as AMD Radeon, it's been amazing. It's been fantastic this year and the market has been increasingly growing, unlike many other markets in 2020, because most more people are home, we're spending more time at home, so we definitely need more PCs, we need more gaming consoles. Every tech launch in 2020 has been screwed, and it is honestly, if you ask me, it's a brilliant time to make some quick money. Because if you think about it, if you can get your hands on something that is in so high demand, and it's really hard to catch up with the supply, then you'll just be making a lot more money because you could buy something and sell it for a little bit extra, and people would still buy it because they want it so bad. Now, a perfect example for this would be the PlayStation 5, because it is literally incredibly difficult to find a PlayStation 5 right now without going through a scalper or two. But the only difference is right now, it's completely ridiculous. People are selling the product for more than four or five times its value. I've seen a lot of people selling the PlayStation 5 for $3.5,000. Um, that's mad, that's insane. Its original value is not even 500, but you're selling it for a lot more than the original value and people are still buying it. And to be honest with you guys, it's completely normal because in 2020, we're in a pandemic. It's hard to make money. It's hard to get meals on your plate. You know what I mean? So it makes perfect sense for people to actually take opportunities like this and try to get some more money on their, on their bank account. Now, there are two types of scalpers. Number one, the one that tries to make a little bit of profit. Number two, the guy that tries to make a huge ton of profit. The difference between the two is one is just trying to get extra money from themselves to supply their, their life, to, to basically fulfill their daily needs. The second one, however, is the one that sells the PlayStation for $3,000. They are just getting too selfish. Those guys are just being cocky. And that kind of stuff, I heavily do not promote. But scalping in general has been going on for years and years and years. It's not anything new. It's been in the market, in the parallel market, which is also known as black market. It's completely normal. And especially because NVIDIA is also selling priority cards to miners who mine for a cryptocurrency right now. And there has to be a line somewhere where this thing has to be cut. It's completely unacceptable. And it's something that we honestly will find difficult, especially with Cyberpunk 2077 coming out next week. In one week time. Well, if they delay it again, then I'm just gonna have to play it in 2077, which won't be an issue, because, you know, I'll have like RTX 5078. Odd number though, very, very odd number. Now, the real enemy are not the scalpers. As a matter of fact, since most of the purchases nowadays are made through online, especially in the COVID-19 pandemic, the, the vendors who sell them, the retailers, whoever sells them online, Sony, um, Amazon, a new egg, whoever, wherever you buy it from. Now those guys, they just don't have the common sense to protect their site from bots that prevents humans from actually buying the stuff. Now it's easy to make bots just to buy something as soon as it comes online. You just spam it and spam it and spam it and it, as soon as it comes online, you immediately buy it. It's easy. It's not that tough. Even I can program, I can program a bot that does it for me. 
But the reason we don't do that is because that's promoting scalping. Even though I'm just buying it for myself as a consumer, not as a reseller. But the difference here is if the vendors themselves create a system which prevents that from happening in the first place, scalping would be that much harder to do because then you're actually restricting those amount of um, sales to be only diverted to people who want to consume them and not resell them. Now, obviously, if you go and tell Sony this, they're you're like, hey, this is being scalped. They can't do nothing because they're still getting money regardless. They're getting paid. But if they truly care, then they'll be like, yes, well, we'll try to avoid scalping in the future. But what can they do? Not much. The only thing they can do is provide some extra privacy support onto the softwares on their websites to prevent any scalping from happening. But that's pretty much it. What else can they do? I guess in reality, scalping is uh, it's kind of OK. I'm joking. Please don't dislike this video. Please, please, please. This is something I discussed in my podcast with my friend Kevin and a few other guests. Go check them out in the, uh, the description below on Spotify. Um, what I'm trying to say is in this day and age, especially in 2020, because of this whole COVID-19 thing. And I just hope that people would start to look at this in that perspective, instead of just getting angry at scalpers, because we also need to learn and try to look at their perspective to see why they're doing that. Because in this day and age, it is completely hard to live without being judged or without judging people. Anyway, guys, this is pretty much for today's TED Talk. TED Talk? Tech Talk. Anyway. This is my first episode of something I'm thinking of doing. It's a tech talk where I talk about tech or any news that comes up pretty much every week. Um, so yeah, tell me how you like this video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, click on the bell notification icon. And as always, keep calm, keep playing.